First song is a social dance song, an intertribal song that I made that was recorded for the Paul Winter album, Crestone. Um, I wanted to sing another song, um, a boarding school song. This was a song that was taught to me by Dr. Barney Honer Pledgy, a descendant of Chief John Grass from Standing Rock, South Dakota. Um, the reason I want to sing this song is this song comes in a period uh, in United States history when young Native men and women were being forcibly removed uh, from their reservations, taken to schools, and having their culture beat out of them in the name of assimilation, a history that I know is familiar to many people within this room right now. Given the work that has been done with this conference over the past couple of days, I wanted to sing this to respect their legacy, to respect their place in the work that we do, and also to reach out to the children who hopefully will be the ones who will benefit from the work that we have done today. This song says, take this picture and remember me because I'm going away and may never return. I would like to respectfully suggest as a scholar and a performer in my own work, that's what I want to do with these songs and with the work that we do in this conference. I'm, I want to give these pictures to the kids, the indigenous and the non-indigenous kids, and teach them how to use them, teach them how to do it respectfully with the sense of the history that has, that has come here this weekend. So it's a boarding school song.
up. I'm just gonna help you with one last bit here. Um, yesterday at the conference, Toby said, hey man, sing some of which you tied to. You talk fast enough, why don't you sing the song? And uh, I, in good conscience, couldn't leave without uh, bringing that song back. Um, the way that I'm going to do it, though, is a little Jim Pepper history lesson. I'm going to start with Wichita Taito, the way that we did it uh, on the Paul Winter album, Crestone. But then I'm going to take it to uh, Arnett Coleman's Lonely Woman. Arnett Coleman was a great supporter of Jim Pepper in the 1970s. And, one of, and then I'm going to finish it with uh, an in, a great influence on Jim Pepper and myself, John Coltrane's Naima. For those of you who may not be familiar with uh, Lonely Woman or with uh, Naima, those are both saxophone melodies that I adapted for the Powell singing. So, there you go. <laughs> Which it died, died. 